Windows, one of the most popular operating systems in the world, but let's be honest, it's far from perfect. That's why so many people turn to third-party customization tools to level up their experience. With apps like Rainmeter, Windhawk, and Wallpaper Engine, you can transform Windows to a clean, minimalistic, and stylish OS. Imagine turning your setup to look like this. But there is one big question in the room almost everybody has after learning about Windows customization. How will all of this impact my system? In this video, we'll put all the most popular customization tools to the test, we'll measure their impact on system performance, and for laptop users, we'll dive into battery consumption too. By the end, you'll have the full picture of whether customization is worth it for your setup. To provide the most accurate and meaningful data for a wide range of users, we tested all the customization tools on both a high-end and a more mid-range laptop. For the high-end measurements, we used a Lenovo Legion Slim 7 equipped with 32GB of DDR5 RAM, a Ryzen 7 7840HS processor, and an RTX 4060 GPU. On the mid-range side, we turned to an HP EliteBook 850G8, featuring 16GB of DDR4 RAM and an Intel Core i5-1145G7 with integrated graphics. With these machines, we'll run a series of tests to give you the best data possible. First, we'll measure the CPU and RAM usage of specific customization apps on both the mid-range and high-end laptops. Then at the end, we'll test full setups to see the overall impact on CPU and RAM. Besides that, we will also take a look at startup speeds there. For those using laptops, we'll also dive into how these setups affect battery life, which are important factors to keep in mind. Before we start testing, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are interested in Windows customization. The first step in any Windows customization is usually the wallpaper. Two of the most popular options here are Wallpaper Engine, which costs $4, and Lively Wallpaper, which is free. Wallpaper Engine offers a huge library of community-made wallpapers, while Lively requires you to manually import MP4 files. Now to see how these apps peep from on your system, we used a build-in Windows app called Performance Monitor to measure exactly how much CPU and RAM is used per app. Here we have the statistics for Wallpaper Engine. And as you can see, the system impact is acceptable for both machines in terms of CPU and RAM usage. 0.35% CPU usage is minimal, it's not zero, but it's also not something you'll notice during regular use. As for RAM, it uses around 110 megabytes, which should be manageable for most PCs. GPU wasn't measured, because on these setups, these apps typically don't rely that much on the GPU. Let's take a look at Lively Wallpaper now. This time, the CPU impact is slightly lower, likely because the wallpapers are less demanding. However, we immediately noticed a much higher RAM usage on both machines. On the mid-range laptop, in particular, the RAM usage is noticeably higher, indicating that this system might not be as well optimized for this application. Another interesting point, especially for laptop users, is how these apps impact battery life. You might expect live animations to drain the battery significantly, but surprisingly, this isn't entirely the case. Both apps offer the option to pause when running full-screen apps, which helps conserve power. For the Lenovo, the battery life dropped by only about 20 minutes for both apps, making the impact relatively minor. However, on the HP Elite Book, the battery life decrease was much more noticeable, almost 2 hours, which is quite significant. This suggests that less optimized or mid-range laptops may struggle more with these apps in terms of power consumption. In summary, both apps perform relatively similarly and aren't overly performance intensive. However, battery usage is something to keep in mind if you're using a laptop, especially one with more modest hardware. Now, besides customizing the wallpaper, many users enjoy tweaking the look of Windows itself, particularly the taskbar and start menu. For this, Windhawk is an excellent tool, offering a wide variety of customization options to change various aspects of your system. But the big question is, does all this customization come with the drawback of performance loss? As we look at the statistics, it's clear that Windhawk is extremely well optimized. On both PCs, it uses less than 0.01% of CPU, which is practically negligible. The RAM usage is also minimal, sitting at just a few megabytes, making its system impact almost non-existent. You will most likely not find any customization app better than this. For this tool, we have to say that there's absolutely no reason not to use it, even on a laptop. It runs incredibly smoothly on almost any system, with no noticeable bugs while offering a wide range of features. Even during startup, Windhawk doesn't disappoint, as it loads instantly without causing any delays or lags. So this tool is a must for performance-orientated customization. Besides that, the battery life wasn't measured, as we will talk about that more later in the video when we have multiple customization apps running, so stay tuned. Now, let's take a closer look at Rainmeter, a widely popular tool for adding desktop widgets. 
Rain Meter lets you run schemes that allow for custom widgets on your desktop. Of course, these widgets can vary greatly in their performance impact, so we tested a few different scenarios to give you a better idea of how Rain Meter behaves on your system. First, let's take a look at the performance with a simple widget setup. For this, we're using the Mon skin, which is widely popular in many customization setups. It's a clean and minimal tweak, so we don't expect a big impact here. As expected, the performance impact isn't huge with such a small tweak. The CPU usage comes in at around 0.2%, which is similar to what we saw with the live wallpapers, even though they made more noticeable changes to the desktop. The RAM usage is also comparable, with only a small increase. What's interesting is that Rain Meter performed even better on the mid-range laptop, showing that it can actually run quite efficiently on lower-end machines as well. Looking at all the stats, everything still seems quite acceptable, even on the mid-range system. So if you're using a less powerful machine, Rain Meter could still be a solid choice with this configuration. Now let's test some more advanced skins, like Drop Top 4, which adds a whole top bar with tons of features. Along with that, we've also added a few more widgets like Jaxcore and Monterey to really push Rain Meter to its limits and test how it handles a more complex setup. What's interesting here is that the mid-range laptop performs similarly to the high-end PC, which genuinely surprised me. However, I would still advise against using setups like this on lower-end machines, as it could potentially slow things down significantly. Overall, I would only recommend installing this many Rain Meter skins if you believe the customization benefits outweigh the performance drawbacks. Moreover, Rain Meter also takes a while to load during startup, which can be inconvenient. However, it has optimization features like turning off during full-screen apps, slightly reducing its performance impact. Before testing the full setup, let's take a quick look at Ceiling UI, a tool that combines features from DropTop 4 and Windhawk by offering both a customizable taskbar and a top bar in one package. As expected, the performance impact of Ceiling UI is similar to Rain Meter, with the higher-end laptop showing around 0.5% CPU usage and the mid-range laptop hitting 0.89%. This suggests that Ceiling UI is less optimized for lower-end PCs, so it might be worth avoiding if your system isn't particularly powerful. Additionally, the app can be quite buggy, which is another downside compared to Rain Meter. On the RAM side, Ceylon UI appears more efficient, consuming around 150 megabytes, which isn't insignificant but should be acceptable for most users. Overall, it's a decent choice if you're looking for an all-in-one tool, but the trade-off in performance and stability might not make it worth it for everyone. Now for the moment you've been waiting for, let's test some full customization setup like the ones we showcase in our tutorials. This includes multiple Rain Meter widgets paired with Windhawk for system customization. To get the most accurate data, we will be using MSI Afterburner to monitor the whole system. First, let's establish a solid reference point to compare the performance impact by examining the base performance of both laptops without any customization applied. Looking at the stats, the higher-end laptop exhibits minimal CPU usage while idle, whereas the mid-range laptop shows slightly higher usage at around 7%. On the RAM side, the actual usage appears fairly similar for both machines. However, Proportionally, it's much more significant on the mid-range laptop since it only has half the RAM of its high-end counterpart. Let's take a look now at the performance with all the tools running together. On the high-end PC, the CPU usage goes up to 5.4%, which is definitely higher than before but still nothing to worry about. For the mid-range laptop though, CPU usage hits around 10%, which might already be noticeable in everyday use. As for RAM, the increase isn't as dramatic. The high-end laptop is now using 7.85GB, and the mid-range laptop is at 7.8GB. It's clear that the RAM usage doesn't vary much between the two machines, so for lower NPCs, the CPU will likely be the bigger concern. If you're on a laptop or a weaker system, I'd recommend keeping your Rain Meter skin simple. That way you can avoid unnecessary performance hits and still enjoy a customized look without slowing things down. Another big difference we noticed was in battery life which took a significant hit. On the Lenovo, it dropped from 5 hours to just 3 hours and 45 minutes. On the HP, the drop was even more extreme, going from 4 hours and 40 minutes to less than 2 hours. So, if you're using a less optimized laptop with a smaller battery, you might want to avoid more advanced tools like Rain Meter to save your battery life. For our final test, let's quickly take a look at the performance impact when we add a live wallpaper. In this case, we'll be using Wallpaper Engine. As expected, the performance impact increased slightly, by around half a percent. Compared to the larger jump from using no tools, this difference is relatively small. I'd say in this case, it doesn't really matter whether you also use Wallpaper Engine or not, the same applies to RAM usage, which increased by about 200 megabytes. While 200 megabytes more RAM and 0.5% additional CPU usage aren't insignificant, I'd argue that if you're already this invested in customization, this minor increase won't hurt. Still, for lower end PCs, it might be a good idea to stick with just Windhawk and Wallpaper Engine, as we've seen that these tools perform much better than Raymeter in terms of resource usage. Besides performance, let's also take a look at the loading speed after startup. As you can see here, Windhawk starts up really fast, but Rain Meter and Wallpaper Engine are noticeably slower, which can be quite annoying. 
Fortunately, it's possible to fix this issue for Wallpaper Engine by enabling this priority setting, allowing it to start instantly. Now let's quickly take a look at how battery life is affected. Once again, we see a significant reduction, this time by around 40 minutes. With only 1 hour and 20 minutes of battery life remaining on the mid-range PC, it's clear that this level of customization doesn't make much sense unless you always use the laptop plugged in. For the Lenovo, 3 hours of battery life is still usable, but it's also a significant sacrifice that most people likely wouldn't be willing to make. As we've seen, there are significant performance differences between the tools. For advanced PCs, performance impact shouldn't be a major concern. Most tools will idle around 5-6% CPU usage, which I consider an acceptable trade-off, though that ultimately depends on your preferences. For lower-end machines, Windhawk is generally no issue and performs very efficiently. If you want additional customization, using a wallpaper tool or sleek UI instead of Windhawk won't have a huge impact. However, Rain Meter requires more caution. Stick to minimal skins to avoid unnecessary performance hits. For laptops, keep the battery life reduction in mind when choosing tools. Lightweight options like Windhawk or simple skins like Mond are fine, but larger setups like the ones tested here might not be practical. Ultimately, everyone should ask themselves, how much performance am I willing to trade for visual and usability improvements? What's your opinion on the matter? Are the drawbacks worth it? How is the system impact on your PC? Let us know in the comments. And while you're at it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you've decided to dive into customizing your PC, head over to our website for inspiration or check out more videos on our channel to get started.